Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all my students and my viewers. This is the channel Unconventional Learning, and we are back with our next video after such a long time. So, as you saw on the thumbnail, this video is all about how you face your interviews and um, how you get selected in that zone. Now, most of the times we find that interview is generally such a way where either some of the candidates get selected and um, get the job or some face disappointment. How will you be 100% sure that you are going to crack a particular interview? Be it for your job, be it for your higher studies, it depends for what you are giving an interview. Alright, so without wasting any further time, let us begin with our steps on how to face an interview and crack it. The first step which you can use or follow is to prepare yourself beforehand. Now, in this first step, as you can see on the screen, what you all need to do when you are preparing yourself. Is it just about being in the correct body language or is it just about talking in the manner which your interviewer wants you to talk? to him or her or do you have to give a background check for the post you are applying or for the higher studies you are going to pursue? Does preparing yourself mean? Now when I talk about you have to get ready for an interview it all includes the process in which you have come till here which means you need to be thorough with your qualification you need to be thorough with what you are planning to do in future you need to be thorough with what your hobbies and interests are you need to be well versed about why have you come to this interview okay so preparing also includes a big factor which is you need to know that why have you come for this job or why are you going to pursue this um higher study or uh, pursue this master's degree why okay so you need to first give your own interview to your own self in front of the mirror imagine okay so now there it comes okay the second step is practice your interview first you need to prepare yourself and second is to practice which means stand in front of the mirror and start talking to yourself imagine you are a different candidate and who is you you're standing at the other side of the mirror you are in, going to interview the person who is being reflected in the mirror and now start asking questions what would you have had asked if a person came for your company or for your college or for your institution what questions would have come in your mind in order to test that the person is good or not or the person is will be loyal towards his job or her job or not so all these things start taking your own interviews start practicing interviews because i think this is one such way which will kill most of your nervousness and will make you confident enough to face any interviewer so far okay going to our third step is never lie okay never ever lie in your interviews okay people often say this that um, talk in a manner which will be which will appear like a sugar coated thing or you will feel good when you say things like yes i know this i'm well versed with this okay fine i know this language yes that that is internship certificate which i have which means i'm i know this so well but if for example the interviewer in front of you asks you to give you give them a demo you are going to fail if you're lying because i feel that when a person is interviewing someone somewhere they have this deep insight within themselves but they can understand by the body language or by the person's behavior what is correct and what is not mostly okay i'm not saying 100 percent they can um identify and tell you but mostly this happens and uh, dishonesty i think is one of the um turn offs which can remove you and disqualify you from the job you apply for for the study higher study okay our fourth point which is to improve your basic manners actually this should be the first one but uh, 
Now, when you come inside, the basic courtesies, which is like you need to address the person sitting in front of you, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever is the time, and um, you you sit down, you talk to the person, you make eye contact, you have a conversation with them, you look, you're inclined towards the job, you are inclined towards the study, and you want it. So the basic mannerisms which is there i think and by showing interest you will be able to fetch that thing which you have gone for while you're coming in you are you knock the door uh, before you come in or you're going out close the door properly these are the little things i think which uh, every interviewer notices irrespective of no matter how good you are but again at the end of the day if you don't have manners i don't think that will count Right, now coming to our last point of all is um, stay joyful, stay happy and uh, don't frown or don't uh, look nervous, okay? don't behave in a very weird manner. If you're going there, no matter how bad you know things or how anything at all, okay, don't be nervous. Just answer all the questions in a manner which will convince them to understand that you are ready for any situation so even if you don't know the answer to any question which is being asked then politely either decline it or by saying i don't know sir i don't know ma'am or try to bring in a convincing answer that yes i don't know but i will be good for you okay at the end of the day what they want is an, a candidate which is good for their institution or their company they want someone who can uplift their state okay they don't want anyone who is already um have being pressurized from the jobs and everything and coming again to another job they want someone innovative they want someone unique and to bring out that unique factor i think you should be true to yourself say the things which you already know understand it do not lie and uh, you will have a great now uh, today i took an interview i work in a company and i took an interview and i think um, through that process i realized that um, generally what happens is don't expect the interviewee the people who are giving the candidates to know everything but they expect smart answers they expect how readily you are available uh, for answering the questions being asked and how confident enough you are to face any situation which might be there in future okay so please do not hesitate do not become nervous just stay happy joyful have a conversation and leave a lasting lasting impression okay all the best you guys who are going to give interview for your higher studies or jobs i'm sure you'll do great and we'll meet again with our next video thank you